They warned the $16 million debt would drastically cut services, and now the cutbacks are coming. Good evening, everybody. I'm Shannon Ogg. And I'm Ann Trujillo. Jefferson County was relying on voters to approve ballot issue 1A, letting the county keep Tabor refunds for seven years. Well, voters said no, and now here come the consequences. Jefferson County is closing an entire floor of the jail, and that means there will be 244 fewer beds, and 51 people will lose their jobs as of January 1. And the sheriff tells Denver 7's Jessica Porter the county has no choice but to release some inmates early. I don't like this at all. I don't like the circumstance that we've been faced with. There have been a lot of sleepless nights. Faced with $5.5 in budget cuts, the Jefferson County Sheriff says he has no choice. His office will close an entire floor on the first of the year. That's about 244 jail beds, and it means some inmates will get out early. There will be felonies that will be released. Typically, they will be property crimes, but not in all cases. Sheriff Schrader says while this is ultimately his decision, it's a public safety issue that puts people back on the street who may re-victimize. Maybe it's somebody who stole a car, and when they've been identified and stopped, they fight with the police, and they may have drugs in their pocket. The ACLU says the sheriff is fear-mongering. The majority of people in that Jefferson County Jail are innocent. The only reason why they're there is they're there pre-trial and they're there because they haven't been able to afford the money bail to get out. Just recently, the Board of County Commissioners and County Commissioner Leslie Dahlkemper says they did everything they could to work with the sheriff on the budget. She says it's time to look at what other communities are doing to reduce their jail population while keeping public safety a priority. As we look at closing an entire floor of the jail, which is about 288 beds, what might that mean in terms of looking at innovations in home detention or pretrial services? Jessica Porter, Denver 7.